Xbox and Bethesda's Summer Game Showcase is right around the corner, and with it we will see new trailers, gameplay, and more. June 12th is a big day for gaming, and there is a lot that we could actually be seeing. And what is up guys, Ange from the Den Men here, and today we will be going over everything that we could possibly be seeing at Xbox's Showcase. With it being right around the corner, I thought it would be a good time to take a look at all the rumors and potential games. So if you are excited, make sure to hit that like button and comment what you want to see from Xbox and Bethesda's game showcase. But with that being said, we have a lot to go over. So get comfy, relax a little, and let's get right into the video. Starting off, let's do some quick housekeeping with the time of the show itself and a brand new post show that will be a few days later. So June 12th is the big day for Xbox's showcase, but they have already revealed that they will be doing an extended one on June 14th. This is very interesting to see because not only will we be getting new trailers and looks at games on the 12th, but also potentially getting deeper dives into these games on the 14th. This is a big deal and I can't wait to see both for any big games that they might have. Now let's get this out of the way quickly. Even though Starfield and Redfall got delayed to 2023, still expect them to be there on June 12th. Even if it is not in a big way, both of these titles will be making an appearance in some sort of way. Whether that be a small gameplay trailer or something a little longer, both Starfield and Redfall will be at the showcase. With Starfield being so prevalent to Xbox's future, expect to see it this year. Another possibility from Bethesda is something that not a lot of people would expect with a remaster of an older Fallout title. There are rumors that one of the older Fallout games is getting a remaster. Which one it is, we don't know as of right now, but fans have been asking about Fallout 3 for a long time. This doesn't mean that it's confirmed yet, but I wouldn't be surprised if we saw it show up during the showcase this year. Now would be the perfect time to pull the trigger on a remaster to take a little bit off the disappointment of the Starfield delay and would make fans excited for Fallout again. One of the more interesting titles comes from ZeniMax Online, the parent company of Bethesda with a game set in the Star Wars universe. This title is rumored to be around the hit show The Mandalorian and could make for a great game. We know almost nothing about this game and if it really even exists, but there is a lot of evidence that points towards it being in the works and there is no better time to show it off than at the showcase. It is said to be another MMO, same as their other game of the Elder Scrolls Online, but this is all speculation, so I'd like to know if this is something you guys would want to see, so drop a comment letting me know. One game that I'll be interested to hear more about is that of Contraband. It is said to be a co-op heist game in the 1970s and has a lot of potential to be a good game. This one was revealed at last year's E3 and could definitely make an appearance with some gameplay this year. It will be good to finally get to see what Contraband is all about and the Xbox and Bethesda showcase is the place to do it. Something that has been rumored for a long time now is that of a Quake reboot and now might be the time to see something on it. There isn't really any concrete proof that we will be seeing it this year, but id Software has been hiring for a new project that could be the so-called new Quake game. This would definitely be an interesting game to see at the showcase and would draw a lot of attention from newer and older fans alike. Machine Games, the people who make the Wolfenstein games, could have more than one to show off at this year's showcase. The first one being an Indiana Jones game that we already saw a teaser on, but this year might get actual gameplay. This one has a lot of potential for being a great game, with it being led by Todd Howard and a good amount of movies to call back on. Another possibility is that of Wolfenstein 3. This one is less likely, but there is still a chance of it being shown off. It has been nearly five years since the second installment in the series was released, and now might be a perfect time to get some information on it. Obsidian looks like they will also be a big part of the conference with a number of potential games. 
They have been a great studio to lean back on, and with Starfield and Redfall getting delayed, now might be the perfect time to fill those spots with some other big titles. First one being Josh Sawyer's project that is being called Pentiment. This investigative RPG has a lot of potential to be at the showcase with Sawyer himself nearly outright confirming it on Twitter. There is a lot of mystery that surrounds this project and could make an appearance at this year's showcase. Another big game for Xbox is that of the first person RPG Avowed. There is a lot of hype surrounding this game and it has been almost two years since we saw the teaser on it at E3 in 2020. Avowed is rumored to have been in development for about five years, so now is the time to start seeing gameplay on Obsidian's next big AAA title. Xbox and Bethesda's showcase has a lot of potential for some big reveals and a good look into gameplay for a lot of these different titles. There is a lot that could happen at this year's showcase and possibly even those that people weren't expecting. Stay tuned because we will be covering all the latest news for the showcase and keep you up to date on any game that could be making an appearance. But that is all for me now though guys, if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe, comment any videos you want to see in the future, and I'll see you all next time!